Uh, you're flying upside down. Yeah, I'm trying to see what the... That's really good. You're like a stunt pilot. That's all we do. It's very smooth. I'll, I, it's it's one of the it is the best headset I've tried actually. Really? I'd say it. Wow. Uh, that's big praise. Especially you guys are doing the you said the Thunderbirds. We do the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. That's our main team. Nice. That's probably an automatic mapping. Yeah, we didn't set it up for DCS. I'm getting the idea here. This. How's it looking over your shoulder, kid? Pretty damn good. Good lord! Yeah, you need some control. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You gotta be gentle on the runway. You need some control. Well, it doesn't oh. help when there's like six different oh. controllers trying to do stuff. Yeah, but that is yeah. that's amazing. We might the visual fidelity is better. The, the placing cockpit view is good. I'm not getting nearly any much of jagginess uh, in terms of uh, you know, when I look around quickly. If I scan, it's good. If I do it quickly, there's no snap. It's just what I would like. So you've used the, the Arrow and the XR3 before? No, I've used the VR3 and I've seen the XR3, but I haven't used the Arrow yet. Uh, another part of our company is using the Arrow. So how do you think the comfort of this compares to the VR3? Oh, 100% better. This, 100%. This is so much better than the VR3. The VR3 is heavy, clunky, uh, makes you sweat, and doesn't work with glasses. Pretty amazing. Um, I have uh, the next level competitor, which I love a lot. I like it a lot. But one of my biggest complaints, obviously, is the screen door effect, less resolution. This is almost this is better than I could possibly imagine. Peripheral vision is great. Head tracking is great. Couldn't be happier. I already pre-ordered one now. I'm like, I'm gonna slip Josh 500 bucks cash to see if it can get me to the head of the line. <laughs> I, and I bought a new video card, a 4090, specifically. So I knew that this was gonna be great. This is about as good as I can I can imagine. So, comfortable, nice image. Very, very well balanced, very comfortable, not distracting at all. As close to full immersion as I can possibly imagine. All right. Just so much better. Run off the airplane, especially in real life. So this is your first time with a VR headset on? Yeah. So you, but you do some flight sim like on a flat screen or? Yeah, on a flat screen, I have an OLED, yeah. Oh, nice. I, I kind of want to get myself an OLED panel. But, uh, but no, the, the VR, yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, really good for uh, flight training. I, I really do enjoy it. So you're, you're a trained pilot or? Yeah, I'm a start, currently still a student pilot, but, uh, but no, this is, this is good. So uh, what about like the dials, gauges and everything? The dials is really, really clear. Um, is this like on TAA mode, right? Or like the highest resolution right I now? I think we're on TAA. Okay. But we're, we're not running at the highest possible resolution. Okay. Because we're only running a 4070. Oh, I see. I was just wondering what, what does that look like? <laughs> like if we crank it up, but we're going to drop down to like 30 frames per second or something. No, it's all good. I just wanted to just see the visual clarity. That's just more of just, if it was the maxed out. I have a 4090 at home. I was going to abuse it. <laughs> Super nice. How do you think of the uh, field of view? Yeah, field of view is pretty good. It's definitely like uh, clear to the edges, which is, which is really what matters. Yeah. I can still be text, like I would say, about. So when I put this thing on, the, the computer automatically figured out my pupillarity distance. Blow the bar arrow out of the map. Oh, I like hearing that. No yeah, kidding. I bet you did. I own them, so. What, 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 and I agree with the VR sim guy now. In what way? Uh, clarity and stuff. Yeah, he went with this one a little bit better on clarity. No, I can read this. I can read. Huh? The, I can read the indicators over here. No problem. <laughs> so I mean, you already said the balance is better than you expected. Yeah. So you said you're coming from an Oculus CV1. CV1. Old school, yeah. Real old school. How long have you been using that? Uh, since it came out, so five, six years. Oh, you must have thousands of hours in that thing. 
I've, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty sweaty. <laughs> Being able to sit in the cockpit and just glance over and look at an instrument and be able to read it is fabulous. Uh, you're a G2 owner right now, and what did you think of our unit? Phenomenal. 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 All right. I was able to look around, track, there was no fatigue. Um, I, after playing with other headsets, after about 10, 15 minutes after rest, mm -hmm. I would, didn't have to do that there. It was very, very clear. I moved around quickly and kept up with my, my tracking. And I wore my glasses as well. And there was no squeezing, no, no discomfort. Mm. Everything was just really nice and smooth. And the headset was nice and comfortable? Very comfortable. Didn't even notice it was there. Didn't even notice it was there. It was very nice. All right. I'll yeah, it's definitely okay, worth it. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I'll definitely look, definitely look into getting one here. For sure. I, I think if you're a, you're a simmer, I mean, this is the best experience you can have today. Oh, yeah. Definitely. All right. This is so smooth, man. This is smooth.